Ladies and gentlemen, Virginia Johnson. I was a dance major at, at, at NYU when I heard that Arthur Mitchell was teaching ballet in Harlem on Saturdays. I went up there and it changed my life. We had all been turned down, told that there was no place for us. He gave us our dream, a chance to be measured by our movement and grace and not by the color of our skin. He was a tough taskmaster, a force of nature. And his nature, he once said, is that of a fighter. When he came along, to be both black and in ballet, you had to be a fighter. He loves dancing, not just what it can signify, but the idea of it. To him, dancing is more than just an art. He has used it, oh, how you have used it, Mr. M, to bring performers and audiences alike out of the shadows of prejudice and into the brilliant stage lights of ballet. He defied every convention of his time when he dared the world to look at him as a ballet dancer. It was in Harlem that he began to dance, but it was at the High School of Performing Arts where he discovered a world, a dance he had never known about. While ballet was convinced that blacks could not perform the classics, he resolved that he must and that he would. The great George Balanchine saw his promise and took him under his wing. He made him a member of the New York City Ballet and thrust him into the limelight. A line of perfect poetry, he stood front and center and unforgettable. In country after country, they came to see him dance. Then came the news from Memphis. The death of Martin Luther King hung over him like an unanswered question. How could he keep the dream alive? He was just a dancer. He gave up center stage and came home. He started his school with 30 kids, and in six months, he had 800. Here, where discipline ruled, he postured their bodies and their pride. The company proudly took the name of its neighborhood, the Dance Theater of Harlem. To their mastery of classical technique, he added new rhythms, new themes, and the vibrancy of their hope. But the question remained, would the public care? Would they come? This exciting young company, wrote a critic, has confirmed their link with tradition and put their stamp on ballet's classics. Audiences were electrified as a new and rich chapter in dance unfolded before their eyes.
In its 25 years, the Dance Theatre of Harlem has created a new legacy in dance. Arthur Mitchell created more than a dance company. He opened doors to the future and to a place no one but he ever dreamed would exist. Ladies and gentlemen, in tribute to Arthur Mitchell, to Box Pasigalia, the professional dancers and the children of the Dance Theater of Harlem. 